What's going on, nerds? Welcome back. My name is Sned. So today, uh, I don't, I don't even know what kind of episode it is. I started with one goal in mind, and I didn't even end up doing it until the end of the episode. So stay tuned for that. But basically, basically, what we wanted to do was generate more power, and I think we've accomplished that today. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you didn't. And please enjoy the episode. Also. Check out the Discord and Twitch link down below. I will leave that there. I'm getting really close to Twitch affiliate, so I'd love it if you guys checked me out on Twitch. Maybe drop a follow. Uh, anyways, please enjoy the episode. Welcome back, everybody. So today, after our pretty long adventure, we're finally gonna we're we're gonna get some platinum that we well we need platinum for a lot of things, but we're gonna get some. And the way we're gonna do that is this guy right here. Da, 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 the matter fabricator so we have most of these items already I've been pulling them out of my inventory let's uh let's go check our system we only need the lapatronic energy orb and yes this is gonna be a pain in the butt I think as long as we can make that we have the rest so from there we could get the matter fabricator and then potentially start fabricating some uh, platinum just by just by ourselves. So, we we need the matter fabricator. No more no more long boring adventures where nothing happens, just looking for platinum or what what was it called Sheldonite I think. Yeah, no no more of that. We're gonna we're gonna make our own. Screw it. Thankfully though, we only need eight of these of these energy crystals. I know that I've made them before for something in season one. Maybe maybe it was this guy here, the MFE. I don't remember what I was making. But in season one, we were able to take diamond like diamond uh, items and grind them down into diamonds. So it was it was fine. But now with the diamond dust we can only put it into an implosion compressor to get diamonds out of it. And we don't even get the same amount. So if we grind down a chest plate, which is eight diamonds, we, at most, can only get six diamonds back. Well, six and a quarter diamonds back anyways. So maybe we'll need this implosion compressor anyways. And this doesn't actually seem too hard to make. And other than the compressor, we already had everything, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and plop this guy down, power it up, and we'll uh, we'll see what we're working with. I'm not sure... Oh, is this a multi-block? Ooh, mini supernova. Ah, shoot, it is a multi-block. Oh, and it goes down. Okay. And I'm thinking I might just dig this into the floor. That could be pretty cool, right? Well, there's eight. Oh boy, let me go make more. Man, steel is something that I should have made so much more of. Where's that zombie coming from? Hello? Well, I guess below me, because there's no way he's hiding in there. Anyways, uh... That should be the implosion compressor completed. Uh, of course, we need to power it. And that should be... Yep, it's getting power. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just thought of something. How much... Like, we don't have any TNT, do we? TN... Oh, well, we got a little bit. Boom, there we go. Now we have, what, a stack and a bit of diamonds there, technically speaking. So, the diamond dust can then be thrown into either the compressor to make diamond plate, or the implosion compressor. And, oh man, see, like, four dust gives us three diamonds, and a small pile of ender eye dust. I wonder what that's for. Or, with 16 TNT, four dust gives us three diamonds and 16 dark ashes. Dark ashes don't do like anything, I'm pretty sure. You just make ashes and then I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Somebody down in the comments let me know what are what are dark ashes used for? Well, are they actually useful, I should say. We also don't have a gunpowder farm yet. I say gunpowder, but I mean like the uh the burnt paper. We're going to have to do that eventually, make the uh like the paper farm like we did last time. Just not in a big, disgusting, quote, rocket build. But we'll we'll get to that eventually. Honestly, the end crystals might even be easier. Well, we can make one. 
Okay, let's test this bad boy out. We throw these in here, I'm pretty sure. And then our diamond dust. What, it'll do... It takes four. Oh, my, that is slow. Wow, even with... Even with four overclock upgrades, it's still really slow. Oh, man. It'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it. I just gotta keep telling myself that. Anyways, back to the matter fabricator. We should still have enough diamonds, I think, to make these guys. So let's get... Let's get into our chemical reactor and combine a diamond with redstone. Okay, after waiting what seemed about 20 hours, we finally got six synthetic... 16, rather, synthetic redstone crystals. So now we need silicon plates. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, no, I need those. Redstone crystals. And then these go into the assembling machine together. Where is it? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they don't stack. That's fine. Oh boy, there we go. We got eight of these bad boys. Huh, oh, sheesh. This is taking a hot minute. Okay, so... What, what were we even making to begin with? Matter fabricator, I think, right? Oh, our first Lapatron crystal. And we're also out of industrial circuits. Okay, fine. Assembling machine and platinum plate. We need we need more platinum. And that only gives us one. I just want to hide. Okay. How much platinum do we have? Platinum. It looks like we have enough for seven. Well, shoot. That's not going to help us. So we need seven more platinum ingots and or dust. And to get the dust, we can... How can we get the dust? What about the small dust? Iridium in the grinder? I think we actually have some iridium from our last adventure. We have raw iridium. Oh, we have five. Okay, let's see where this gets us. Ten small piles of dust. Okay, and I think we have two more in here. Platinum. There it is. Listen, as long as we get enough to complete the fabricator... Ah, oh, shoot, three more. Ah, oh, that's fine, that's fine. As long as we get enough to complete the... What am I doing? The fabricator, then I'm fine. Because that just means we can make our own platinum after that. And making the rest of this crap will be stupid easy. I am so sick of the word platinum. I'm gonna call it something different from now on. Uh, I'm gonna call it... Uh, um... I'm gonna call it dirt, because that's all it is to me. That's what it's worth. We could also grind down heart of the sea... Hearts of the sea, I guess? This item that you get from treasure chests. We could grind that down into small piles of dust, or of dirt dust. But it's not gonna be... Like, that's not efficient. The iridium could be... What? I have a bunch of raw iridium. What can we do with that? Nothing, just blast it. Dang it. Do we... Do we have to go get Sheldonite? I really hope not. Oh, you know what? We're gonna take we're gonna take a little vacation. I just realized I'm not sure if our solar panels are actually gonna work in the end. But we're gonna find out. If they don't Um Oh, you know what? Let me take this 1.6 mil energy guy. Okay, Sheldonite. You can run, but you can't hide. I mean, I guess right here is good, right? Just this big old flat area right here. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Unfortunately. But that's okay. We were able to get the energy out of it. All we need is some Sheldonite. Please. Or if you could at least show us some Sheldonite, I'd be okay with that too. Oh, does the energy cell not work on that? How, how, how power? How, how we make go? Okay, we're back with the much slower method of a thermal generator. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Man, I really wish this thing was faster. Okay, it finally finished. Um... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it does exist! Oh my gosh, it does exist! Oh man! Oh man! It found four. 
So four will give us eight. We might have enough. I'm just going to leave all this crap here right now. I don't even care. I will be right back. If I need to be anyways. Oh, please tell me we have enough. Okay. Now, where is my dirt? We have 18. Is that enough? How many... How many circuits did I say I needed? I don't know. Let's just... Uh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, please. Assembling machine. Those. Those. I shouldn't have made all 18, but I don't even care. Oh, I'm so excited. I think we could do it. Oh, man. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it. Oh, my gosh. We did it. We actually did it. Oh, man. I hate those crystals now. Iridium alloy. Oh, boy. What is... Th oh, <laughs> Advanced alloy plate for iridium plate for. Okay, so we have. We have iridium for sure. Iridium. Oh man, we only have one iridium ingot. I don't know as if we could smelt these down. And then the advanced alloy. So now we should have everything we need to make the Lapatronic Energy Orb. And oh my goodness. That thing is the biggest pain in the butt ever. And then with that, we can make the Matter Fabricator. Ugh, something from nothing. Oh, apparently you put scrap and or scrap boxes into here. And... Scrap is made from the scrap boxinator. And a scrap box is made. Hold on. We need a scrap box in order to make the scrap boxinator? Am I forgetting something here? I think I am. Oh, wait. I'm being silly. We need the, the recycler. That's it. There we go. The recycler. Let's power this bad boy. Hold on. Let me, let me do some stuff quick. Okay, cleaned up the inventory a bit, and I removed some stuff. I wanted fiber. One man's rubbish. Okay. I forget how to do this, to be honest. What, we, we used clay balls? Oh, we don't have a copper pan set up. What is wrong with me? Let's just use uh, just some of this extra garbage just laying around. Right, because I think we could use anything, can't we? Yeah, and there's the scrap boxinator. And that'll auto open. Oh, wait, I don't actually need that. What am I doing? That'll auto open scrap boxes. We put scrap in here, I guess. 30% from 9. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So we need. Here's what we need to do. Y'all ready for this? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, we need to. Auto feed items into the recycler and then auto export the recycler items, the like the scrap that it produces, into the matter fabricator. So, what are we gonna auto feed? Is now a good time for a copper pan setup? Probably not. Am I gonna do it anyways? Probably. You know, even though copper pans are supposed to be like an early game first thing setup. Uh, better late than never, right? Actually, you could also use a scrap box in here, so I wonder... Okay, so it looks like one gives you 3%. So what about a scrap box? So if scrap gives you 3, then this sh scrap box should give you at least 27, right? Although, that just gave us four, so maybe it's not exactly... Hmm. Oh, that jumped it up a lot. Okay, scrap boxes are the way to go. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. We need scrap boxes. So, if I remember how to do this, these should start shooting items out at us now? Honestly, everything that produces, I might just throw into the recycler. So, let's make a couple of hoppers. Okay, I know it's not exactly pretty, but it'll work. It'll work. And then the recycler can feed into the, I guess, scrap boxinator? No, we want uh, this guy here, the auto crafting table. And that should make, automatically make, rather, 
Uh, I guess we need to put a pattern in there. Okay, so we're gonna lock the auto crafting table and have it make scrap boxes. And we will configure these to be auto input from the back. And then we want these scrap boxes to auto output from the... Let's go with the top. Oh, you know what? I haven't configured this guy to accept items from the back and output items from the front. Okay, now we should be completely set up. So anytime we get an item shot out, it'll throw it automatically into the... the recycler. The recycler is then putting everything automatically into the auto crafting table, and the auto crafting table will put everything into the matter fabricator. I hope. And I think... I think now we should be good. Oh, I guess I have to configure this as well to auto input from the bottom. All right, I'm just gonna kind of watch this for a second to make sure that it's functioning properly, and then we'll, uh... Shoot, I guess we might even call it an episode. Uh, I should close this off as well. We got our first UU matter! Guys, look at it! Oh my gosh, we got one! Actually, you know what? What if we have... What if we have this bad boy running, just non-stop, and then feeding things into the... into the, uh, recycler? Huh... That might not be half bad of an idea. But yeah, that's not a bad idea. Just take... Just take this, and just run it into that. Oh, there it is, guys. We got five UU matter. You know what that means? We could make platinum. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. UU matter. What else can we make with this stuff? I feel like platinum should just be our first one. Our first five UU matter is going to be used to make platinum. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ugh. Yes. Stupid, stupid platinum. Wow, we're already back up to five UU matter. So, I guess, because the point of this episode was to make the, uh, the quantum solar panel, let's, uh, let's make a quantum solar panel. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. There it is, our very first quantum solar panel. Ho, ho, ho. So, this, this bad boy should be kicking out quite a lot of power now. We're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. Uh, we're just gonna let this go. It should just run forever now. And like I said, eventually we could, uh, add more pans. But I'm really thinking, like, let's hook this thing up to it. Our, our cobble, well, quote-unquote cobble generator. Because if it's constantly shooting in all these blocks, that that's going to be a lot of scrap boxes, I think. So the quantum generates 512 a day and 32 at night versus the 48 at during the day and 8 at night of the ultimate. That's crazy. I mean, that's literally, that's over 10 times better than, than this. So one quantum solar panel is the equivalent of, it's like 10.5 or something. Oh wait, let me just do the math quick. 10.6. It's the equivalent of 10.6 of the, uh, the ultimate. Oh boy. So with those, what, now three quantum solar panels? We should be set for a very long time, I would like to think. Yeah, with just the copper pans, this will take a while, but I think with that running full time, Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna be spitting out UU matter. Oh, boy. And that's good, because that means next episode, we could probably start looking into upgrading to some of this, uh, this nanotech. Like, the nano saber, because we'll be able to, well, yeah, no, we'll be fine. With the exception of these energy crystals, these take a while to make. I need to grind out some of these, but the, uh... The, uh, Lapatron crystals are gonna be pretty easy to make now. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.
Okay.